is probably my favorite day of the year because I get to make jam, one of my favorite things to make. I've loved making it ever since I was a kid and I used to go wild blackberry picking and other berry picking with my mom. I like to share these recipes with you because people think they're hard, but they're really not hard. So this recipe calls for a total of two pounds of berries. It's one pound of strawberries and a half pound each of raspberries and blueberries with one and a half cups of sugar. To start the process off, you want to mix together your strawberries and the sugar, and then let it sit for about an hour to allow the juices to come out, and then you can proceed with your recipe. When they've been sitting for an hour, you can see that a lot of the juices have come out. You can start cooking your jam. By the way, this step is great, and it sort of helps the strawberries hold their shape a little bit, but it's not necessary. And if you wanted to skip it, you could just combine your berries and your sugar in a pot and start cooking. I do that all the time. Add your half pound of raspberries and half pound of blueberries. You need a little bit of lemon juice, about a tablespoon. And I always like to add just a pinch of salt because it enhances the flavor. Keep your mixture on a high heat and just stir it until it bubbles up and it boils kind of aggressively. It can be a little overwhelming, but that's why I'm using a pot that's as big as this is. I like to mash up my fruit a little. It helps break it down and come all together into one. But if you are the kind of person who wants to have pieces of strawberry in your jam, you can leave them as they are. See how it's coming to a boil? I wanna mash it with a potato masher. This helps break down the fruit a little bit. It smells like pie in here. Now you can see it's sort of starting to bubble over on itself. It's getting some foam on the top and you wanna skim that off to keep the clarity of the jam as nice as possible. I'm beginning to be able to see pieces of fruit and the bubbles are starting to slow down a little bit. That's how I know that it's starting to get closer to being done. What you're doing is you're just cooking the fruit down till it's soft and most of the liquid is cooked off and it's spreadable. That's the advantage of using fruits like raspberries and blueberries that naturally thicken on their own. <laughs> now you know my secret. This is really, really close to being done. You can see that the seeds are sort of sticking and it's dripping very, very slowly off the spoon. That's it. Then you can just transfer it to something to pour it into the jars, like a measuring cup like this. Pour it into jars. Make sure they're heat proof jars. You can freeze this jam. Just make sure that you cool it completely before you put it into the freezer and leave about a half an inch of headroom. Get ready to have the best jam you have ever had. Mmm. Mmm. So fantastic, you guys. So delish. It's like summer in a jar. Hi guys, thanks for watching this video. Be sure to click here if you want to subscribe and click over here if you want to continue watching more great videos like this.